LGBTQI organization United and Strong UNS hopes that women politicians will step up to spearhead more causes to protect women and girls. While the number of women in politics in St. Lucia is growing, females still face challenges in the male-dominated environment. The human rights organization recently held dialogue on formulating strategies to tackle a few of these challenges. Director of UNS Jessica St. Rose called on women politicians to use their platform to help make a difference in the lives of women and girls. How do we get political leaders, especially women, to be part of the discussions? Because this is what is important. As much as they are in political spaces, they are in political leadership, but what are they doing to address the issues, especially as it relates in this important time, citizens of activism, where we want to hear the voices of our political women, our political leaders, fighting against the violence against women. We recently saw a murder of a young nurse, someone at the front line of our, of, of our communities, who got murdered and do are we going to are we going to get justice and this is the answers that we want and as and these leaders have what it takes to change the narrative and to build on that and to and, and to increase the voices and the awareness as it relates to these issues the panel discussion coincided with the start of the annual campaign on Friday, November 25, 2022, of 16 days of activism denouncing violence against women. Wednesday's dialogue also focused on strengthening the role of LGBTQI and marginalized women in politics. We are asking those in Parliament to, um, you know, create these more inclusive laws and legislation, uh, laws and policies, but we, I think, need to meet them halfway if there are ways in which us as civil society can support uh, them so that they are, you know, a bit more available and it's more, um, I want to choose the right word here, but I think we, when we're asking politicians to create these better laws and policies, we also want to um, find out or think about ways in which we can support them, support their constituencies and show that you know it really is a collaboration. Saints Rose is optimistic that the discussions will be sublimated into tangible action that will actually benefit women. Not just words, not, not just on paper, but putting what we have discussed, putting what we putting what we have continuously been advocating for, putting these things into action. Because when we put in things into action is when we can see a light in what we how a light in what the work that we do and, and also we want we, we see what we want to, the community that we want to, the safe communities that we want to live in, because we want to aspire to live in safe communities. Persons nowadays don't feel safe. And it's not just about conversation, but action. So I think this is our next move, the actions that we want to see happen in our society. Positive, positive awareness, positive action. The panel discussion was a collaborative effort of United and Strong, the regional organization in women in leadership, and the Frontline Alliance Against Gender-Based Violence. Gina Filippi, HTS News Force.